Hi there, I'm Megan Toast, I do things on YouTube, and welcome to Tarkov for Dimmies. In this video, we'll go over how armor and weapons work in Escape from Tarkov. As of the current patch, 0.13.5, armor protects certain areas of your PMC's body. The PMC's body can be divided into multiple different zones. The head, the thorax, the arms, the stomach, and the legs. For the head hitbox, there are different zones in which you can be hit. These different zones are the top of the head, the ears, the eyes, the nape, and the jaw. Nutta Busta posted a good example of this on r slash escape from Tarkov, which will be displayed here. Remember, these are general zones and do not make a one-to-one -one representation with the Tarkov models. Due to unfortunate timing, the upcoming wipe will change the armor system. For now, I will explain how it works in 0.13.5 and will update it when the uh, um, armor update comes out. Armor covers different parts of the body. Some armors may only cover the thorax, while others may cover the thorax and the stomach. If you have an armor that covers the arms, the entire arm will be protected, including the hand and the fingertips. Even if the armor only appears on the PMC's shoulders, helmets are what you use to protect your head. Like armor, they can cover different zones, those zones being the top and the nape or maybe the top, nape, and ears. Most helmets will not be able to cover your eyes or your jaw unless you add further modifications to the helmet. There is no armor for your legs at the moment, but there is a possibility that leg armor will be added in the future. All right, now that we know what armor covers, we'll need to know what armor can stop. Different armors have different armor classes, as well as materials. Generally, the higher the armor class, the better it'll be at stopping a bullet from penetrating it. The lower the armor class, like class 1, may struggle to stop even buckshot. The lowest armor class is class 1. The best armor class is class 6. Most people will run armor classes 3 through 5, but it is also dependent on when you start the wipe, which we will cover later. The armor material plays a role in how many bullets it can stop as well as how well it can be repaired once damaged. Armors have hit points just like your health does. The more it gets hit, the lower the HP or the durability value. Eventually it'll get hit down to zero. When an armor is at zero, it's called zeroed armor. As your armor loses HP or durability, it will also reduce in effectiveness. Say for example, a bullet that can only pen class 4 armor shoots at a class 5 armor. If the armor is low HP or durability, the bullet may pen the class 5 armor and hit your PMC's HP pool. While on the topic of ballistics, let's talk about ammo. Unlike other games, ammo type is crucial in Tarkov. Since different ammo has different behaviors, you'll need to figure out what ammo is best for your gun. We'll be using this resource as a reference for whenever you need to use a certain type of ammo for a certain type of gun. Welcome to EFT Ammo. This is a third party website that will help you understand which ammo is going to be best for your gun. Not every ammo is going to be available to you, so you're going to need to pick and choose which ammo is best for what you're doing at that moment or what you have access to. So it should take you immediately to the ammo table. If not, just click the top left ammo table and it'll bring you to this page. We're going to scroll all the way down to a caliber that somebody would generally be familiar with and it's going to be 556. This is the stuff that goes into your M4s. Reading this, we're going to see that the name of the bullet is on the left. Moving over, certain bullets may not be able to be sold on the flea market. We don't have access to the flea market, we don't care about that right now. If you hover over the buy column, you can see certain traders will sell this ammunition at certain levels. This is important because traders are going to be, normally, the cheapest way to get ammo, as well as the most reliable way. You can always sell ammo to pretty much anyone. Uh, damage values will be found in this column right here. Generally, when you're comparing a meta ammo to a meta ammo, damage is going to be the thing that you're looking at, as well as pen. To the next column over is the pen value. The higher the number, the better. If you don't know what any of these numbers mean, you can go all the way over to the right 
to this big old graph right here, I guess you could call it. The greener the box or the higher the number, the easier of a time it will have penning that class of armor. If you see that class one, pretty much everything pens class one besides Warmageddon. Class two, class three, class four, it gets harder and harder and harder for those cheaper, not as good ammos to start to pen even class three armor, which is gonna be the most common you're gonna see out there. So let's say for example, we're using uh, 855. So we need to figure out if 855 can pen up to certain classes. We go all the way over and we see that it should have a decent time penning all the way up to class three, but when it starts to go up against a class four armor, it may struggle a little bit. With that, you should be able to use this website for any caliper or any gun that you would like to use. You just need to find the name of the caliber, the bullet that you're using, and you'll go over and be like, all right, I got LSPGZH for 762x54R. We're gonna be right here, scroll all the way over. We see it'll have a decent time penning all the way up to class four, might struggle against class five. Well, we're just little Timmies, and we don't have access to meta ammo. We have to make do with what we got. Just remember, for now, you need to find the best ammunition that you have available to you. It'll increase the likelihood of winning fights, and you won't end up shooting someone 14 times in the helmet and doing zero damage to them. To find the type of ammo you need for your gun, let's say for example you're using an AK or a Kalashnikov rifle, you got two different types. You got the 545 by 39 and the 762 by 39. These guns both look like AKs, but they shoot different calibers. You can find the type of caliber or ammo type in the bottom left box of the gun itself. Make sure that you match the caliber properly. Just because it fits doesn't mean it'll ship. All right, guns in Tarkov shoot from their barrels. In other games, Bullets appear from your eyes and will laser to the place that you're looking at. Tarkov's bullets, again, originate from their barrels, so if your barrel is looking in a different direction from where your eyes are looking, the bullet's gonna go to where the barrel's pointing. This is why you do not have a crosshair in this game. Lasers and aiming down your sights will help bring that barrel to where you want that bullet to go. Alright, Timmy, that was a lot of information. Should I be able to at least understand armor is good? You should understand that different armors will cover different places. You should be able to understand that different guns shoot different calibers, and those calibers have different types of ammo. Those different types of ammo have different pen values and behaviors. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct ammo for the gun that you're using that has a good pen value, so that way you can kill the thing that we're about to go kill right now. You excited, Timmy? Because hopefully you digested all that. All right, it's time to go kill some things. Head back into the offline or practice raid for customs. Enable AI scabs this time and make sure you enable it as online. So that way you can get a feel for how many scabs will appear in which locations. As well as kind of helping you deal with scabs because if you, you know, you're probably going to die to them a few times. But once you get used to dealing with scabs, it'll be just like the online raids without the players. I have been Egg and Toast. Thank you for bearing through all of that information. In the next episode, we will go over uh, navigating through the customs map again, dealing with AI scavs, where the AI scavs will spawn, where the sniper scavs will be, what to do if you get injured, hurt, or shot, and how the whole health mechanic works for your PMC as well as, well, everyone else in the game. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.